What's up guys and girls, Uber Mike SoCal here with another update to my YouTube channel. In today's update, I'm going to be going over the topic of Uber's self-driving cars, the automated cars, and the future of Uber. Is Uber going to replace drivers with 100% self-driving cars and cut them out of the equation entirely? In my opinion, that is the goal that Uber is trying to do, and not just Uber. Lyft is trying to do this as well. They are the second biggest competitor in competition with Uber, and they have their own autonomous cars or self-driving cars, whatever you want to call them, their fleet that they're building up to eventually replace human drivers. Now, being as I was a driver for Uber for one year until I had my car accident, and unfortunately my car was totaled, can't currently drive for Uber for that reason, among other things, but in the future, I see myself eventually driving again once I can and am legally permitted to do so, as long as I can make good side money doing it, which I was for a year's time. In my opinion, Uber, Lyft, and any rideshare company, if they can make the most amount of profit and cut out the middleman, in this case, the driver, they're going to do it. That's the way businesses are nowadays. They don't care about you. They don't care about your problems. They don't care if you have a roof over your head. They don't care if you're hungry or if you're sleeping on a street. They just don't care. It's in their best interest for their own benefit to make the most money they can and pocket it and have these lavish billionaire lifestyles, super yachts, planes, multiple homes, golfing all the time, um, you name it. Whatever rich guys do, I don't know. I'm not a rich guy. I couldn't tell you. But you get the point. Is Uber and Lyft eventually going to replace the drivers with all automated cars? The answer is yes. It's sad. It's going to happen. In the meantime, I recommend that anyone driving for Lyft, Uber, or other rideshare companies enjoy the ride while it lasts. Get all the money you can to help you and your families, if you have no family, whatever, to help yourself make the most money you can. I've made several videos on my channel of Uber Mike SoCal that'll give you some tips and hints of how to do that free of charge. You can always check those out, but in the meantime, just realize that this future is coming sooner than later. I personally don't like the idea of automated cars. I made a video about how they can be hacked, how they can slam you into a wall over an overpass, and a multitude of other bad things that could happen without human input to override these things. So it's sad that companies want to outsource or eliminate jobs completely for benefit of their own bottom line, but this is the world we live in, people. I'm not here to tell you all the good news in the world. I'm here to tell it to you straight. Just see it where the truth is and what's going to happen in the future. Recommend work that part-time or full-time, whatever you're doing for your ride share. Get that little extra bit of money, but have plan B, have plan C, plan D. Eventually, autonomous cars are going to be the way of the future. It's going to happen. We'll see how it pans out, but definitely do all you can to enjoy the ride while it lasts. If you like this video, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. What's your experience with Uber or Lyft or whatever company you drive for? Has it been good? What were the bad things? Leave the comment down below. What do you think about autonomous cars, self-driving cars? What's your thoughts on it? I'd love to hear it. And finally, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the little red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner. Get you all of my videos, past, present, and future, free of charge from yours truly, Uber Mike SoCal. Until next time, guys. See you later.